Hey, happy Friday. It's Friday for me. I don't know when you're watching this, but happy Friday. I've been wanting to do this video all week, and I had, last Friday, a week ago, um, I was heading down to our new food truck uh, uh, community uh, park near where I live with my sister, my brother-in-law, my partner, and in conversation, I came up with something that I was like, oh my God, that's a great definition of mental health. Now there's lots of definitions of mental health, but this is DJ's definition of mental health, number one. And very simple, it is the ability to, ex to be aware of and to allow the experience of a wide array of emotion, and appropriate emotion, and we'll talk a little bit about that, and to be able to create the opportunities for your own resolution of that. So we're not turning it over to somebody else, taking the po our power, our feelings, and saying, here, you know, and then we're just at the mercy of what other people decide to do. And the base, how this came about to be, and by the way, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I've, I've kind of played with this all week in, in here. But it came about, and my brother-in-law has given me permission to use this story, because his father recently died, uh, Pops. And he obviously has his own feelings around his father and his father dying and his relationship with his father, all his emotion. And then in, tr in working with the you know, possible funeral, memorial, and being in relationship with his siblings, of which he has a lot of siblings, I think six siblings, people aren't necessarily meeting him where he is. And it's been tough. Um, and so it, he's hit some snags, and yet over time, and not all that long a time, he has really settled into how can he take control, how can he hold all his emotions, kind of like my mixing bowl that I've talked about before. How can he hold all his emotions and then take action. And it, what he's decided to do, because no one seems to be listening to him that he would like something in the next few months, so he can put closure and uh, have a tribute to his father and then keep moving on, um, he's decided to have his own story. He's a storyteller, so he's having his own storytelling session. And I just think this is, I think this is amazing. Because instead of turning it over to his siblings, where he has no control, he has said, this is what I need to do for my pops. And I, get all, I just get choked up at his process in this and in his ability to make it come alive for him, right? This is his way of working through his love, his grief, his mourning. Um, and he, it's going to be wonderful. It's, uh, if you're interested, it's going to be at the Unitarian um, Church in West Hartford, Unitarian Universalist Church of West Hartford, uh, on October 22nd, 7 o'clock. And um, it's going to be touching, funny, serious. Uh, it's going to be wonderful. And so he is a living, <laughs> this is real, guys, this is real. Uh, he is a, just a living, example of mental health and uh, it's wonderful and it's embraceable and uh, I just wanted to share that with you and stay tuned for many more definitions of mental health as we move forward. Have a good day. Have a great weekend if it is your Friday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.